Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal is properly aligning effects keyframes. All right, because you have an effects control panel and a timeline and both contain keyframes along with multiple tracks with their own keyframes, I thought it'd be important that I show you how to align between different objects and between different uh, effects panels. It's very useful stuff and I know it's gonna help. Let's have a look. All right, so let's just have a look at what I've got here so far. I've got some music lined up with a few titles. All right, and the titles are um, at the beat of the music. And I want to do a couple things. So first of all, I want to take this track that I already have, and I want to make it jump in 25% increments of opacity. So over here, I'm starting at uh, 25%. And then I wanted to jump over here to 50%. And right now you can see it's just a linear keyframe. So I'm gonna select all of the keyframes that I already have for opacity, right click and make these hold keyframes. So now they jump to 25, 50, 75 and 100% um, through that time just to give a different kind of building effect. Now that we have these keyframes in our effects control panel, we can now start to add more effects. So let me just grab a tint in here and let's go to this point at the beginning and I'm going to add a keyframe on mapping to black. So I'll change the black to red and jump to the next keyframe and you can either use these buttons over here or if you hold the shift key down I tend to do this a lot more so I just find it's easier to grab up here if you hold the shift key down and move around you'll jump to those positions so let's grab a different color blue and then click again let's grab a deeper green and at this point let's actually make this more yellow and then at the very end here it's going to jump to 0% tint so I need to have the tint here at 100% and then at the end at zero and of course I need to make all of these hold keyframes also. Right click, hold keyframe, now let's watch it snap into place. Boom, there's one. Here comes the first title. Bang, bang, bang. All right, so I'm bridging the gap here between um, finding the position in the music translates to the title that I dropped in, translates to the opacity and to the tint. And if you uh, if you enlarge your tracks, you'll begin to see the keyframes if you have them turned on. So in the wrench, show video keyframes is turned off. You can't see them, but if it's on, you can. The only issue with looking at keyframes down on the timeline, if you right click on the effects badge, you'll notice you only get one at a time. So it's hard to line them up down here, but if you notice up here in the effects control panel, I can see all of my keyframes for motion, position, and any other effects that I have. And you can make this quite large too, so I can drag this out. And if I tap the maximize, which is the tilde key on a North American keyboard, now I've got a full screen and if I've got a secondary display, this is almost like having a little version of After Effects in here. So now I'm sure when I play this that all my keyframes are perfectly aligned and jumping to the exact positions where I want them. Boom. All right. A little tip, mind you, but still an important tip. Uh, can really help you line things up because sometimes that effects control panel, if you're not 
if you're one frame off and you think you're changing a number, then you're going to have this jump. And when you're zoomed out, you can't really see those keyframes. So hold the shift key, move around and snap to the keyframes that are there. It's going to save you a lot of headaches. Well, hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please click on the subscribe button to video reveal. If you're not already a Creative Cloud user, then I have a specific link down in the description for you to go and get a 30-day trial of Adobe Creative Cloud. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best. Thank you.